Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. So, I have been playing outside today while Eric has been working. And I came over to this pond because last time I was here I noticed some eggs on some plants and I wanted to see if I could figure out what kind they were. And I decided to take some home with me. Don't get mad at me. I've, I've had a fascination with bringing nature home with me since I was a small child and I can't help it. But I found out what they were by the miracle that is Google, my best friend. And I came to get some more because I told Eric and he wants to set up like an outside aquarium and put snails in there and then maybe add some of them to our tanks. So I came over here to get some more and I have to show you what I just found. I am so afraid that I'm gonna drop my phone in the water. I'm gonna see if I can get down there and get it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it yet. Oh, I need two hands for this. Look at the size of this snail. Can you see this? I don't have particularly small hands. This thing is massive. I have never in my life seen one this big. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's making noises. Ah! I'm trying to get it to focus. Can you see the size of this thing? Jeez Louise. Is this what I'm going to be getting myself into? It's like half the size of my tanks. Gargantuan. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I can see another one down there in the water just as big, if not bigger. I can't believe that. Hey, here's the eggs. I always thought that these were fish eggs when I was a kid and I held on to that belief until today. They are snail eggs. To be precise, apple snails or mystery snails. Looks like these have hatched. These are all just laid. They take two to four weeks to hatch depending on temperature and all that stuff. I kind of really want to take this one home. I'm not even joking. Anyway, I thought that Eric was going to get upset with me when he saw the eggs and tell me to put them back like he has the tendency of doing because I'm always doing crazy stuff like that. But he thought it would be an awesome idea to set up something to hatch them out and then go trade them to our local privately owned pet store for fish supplies. So I'm excited about that. And then I noticed when I came over here, I can't remember this, what this is called, these uh, green floating leaves duckweed or something like that. I think I'm going to get some of that and take it home to put on top of my tanks. Of course I'm going to, um, what's the word? Quarantine everything first. Let's see how close, oh, I almost fell in. There's the, oh my god, it's so big. Can you see it down there? Look at that sucker. Jeez. I have never in my life. Eric was just talking last night about uh, me catching some crawdads and setting up a tank for those. I did that um, earlier this year. Do you guys remember? I think I showed you in a video. I did that earlier this year and we ended up letting them go because we didn't have anything to put them in. But I think we could set something up now like a big Tupperware tub container or something. She's on the move. Oh my God. I was just watching a video of someone talking about growing out their snails. And he had one that was like five times smaller than this one. And he was saying it was the biggest snail he'd ever seen. And he named it uh, something mega. And then I walk over here and see this. And I'm like, oh my God, if only he could see this one. Here's some more of the eggs and get it closer view I gotta be honest with you I was really hoping that these were gonna be like um, 
salamander eggs because I have I used to own newts as a child and I used to find wild salamanders as a child and I loved it and I'd really like to have some so I was kind of hoping that that's what they were so I could take them home and get some pets I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this duckweed I guess I need to get a cup and scoop it up anyway Eric told me to get some more um, eggs they're very very fragile if you just touch them a little too hard and they pop open so maybe I'll use one of these I thought there was a styrofoam cup around here can help clean up some of the litter and get some of this duckweed at the same time but yeah I just wanted to show you guys this I just I, I cannot I cannot believe how massive Tell me if you've ever seen one this big before. I think I'm going to let it go. Even though I really, 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 really want to take it home with me. I don't think it's... it's I, don't, I mean, I'll take the eggs, but I don't think I should take... I really want to, though. And there you go, a little snail. I mean, seriously. Oh, and here's some duckweed I can grab. I need to find something to put it in though. It's not gonna focus. I need a little cup or something. I'm gonna walk across the street to the, the main pond where this water is coming from and uh, see what I see over there. So this is the main pond. There are quite a few animals over here, birds and things like that. Ducks and a large turtle that you won't be able to see, but I can see it. I don't see any eggs over here though. Mm. What is that actually? Oh, he's making a ruckus. I can't tell what that is. That looks like styrofoam, actually. There's a spider. No eggs. There's a lot of trash, a lot of pollution in this over here. It's really sad. A lot of people's garbage and tires and all kinds of stuff like that. No duckweed and no eggs, so I'm going to go back to the other side. If you'll notice up ahead, we got a gaggle of geese. Is that what they call them, a gaggle? Uh, these guys can be pretty ferocious, so I'm gonna stay clear of them for my own healthy health's sake. Wouldn't want anybody chasing me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm staying away. made it past safely. Now hopefully they don't come running after me once I get closer to the water. All right, here are some plants that I wanted to get that I think I could use in an aquarium if I cleaned it up right. Um, it looks very similar to stuff I see them selling in pet stores. And it's this right here. I don't know if you have to like get the whole root or if you can propagate it. Um, maybe I'll take some home and set it. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Pay attention, Christy. Uh, set it up outside and just kind of clean it up. And then maybe add one or two tester fish to it. You know what I'm saying? See that? Man, the color on my camera is just awful right now. It doesn't even look like real life. Let me see if my lens is dirty. Well, that didn't help at all. Come on. Focus. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. 
Oh well, you get the point. So maybe I can take a few of these home and Eric won't freak out on me. I'm always doing crazy stuff. And sometimes he just doesn't know how to handle it. Mm. That's a lot, a lot more than I actually need. I hope this isn't illegal. I wish I had like Ziploc bags or something. All right, I got some of the roots. So I'm thinking I should be able to do something with that. Guys, trying to make my way back to my truck and there's a blockade. I'm not sure how, hopefully they'll move. gonna move also or do I have to walk in between you two? Where are you going? What's happening? So I'll remain calm. Thank you. This couple down here just chilling. Eyeballing me pretty hard. Oh god. Thought somebody was running after me. Alright guys, so I found a little baggie to put the little plants in that I got. You can't see anything because it's not gonna focus. Have so much trouble with this camera focusing where I want it to. There we go. And I got some duckweed in there and I think I saw in a video somewhere that it reproduces rapidly so I think I've got enough to start a nice little colony. And then here is the eggs that I took earlier. Cute, huh? Perfect on a little stick just for me. This is my office bathroom. Nice, huh? So I just got a text message and an email telling me that I have been accepted as a shipped shopper. That there are some emails that I need to fill out. Sorry, I'm talking while I'm looking in the dumpster. Uh, some paperwork and stuff like that that I need to fill out and get returned. Bank deposit slip, things like that. Um, and then they're going to do a background check on me that will take anywhere from 1 to 14 days. And then they'll send me my package, which includes a t-shirt and, I don't know, some other things. And I will be able to possibly start trying to do some shipped shopping excursions. That should be fun. Guys, I was trying to break the stick to make it a little smaller. And my eggs fell off. And they're scrambled. I feel awful. I can't believe I just did that. I'm a failure. Alright guys, so I'm losing daylight. It is 5.30 in the evening. We have been here since 6.30 this morning, up since 5.30. Eric has been busting his butt today, and I know he didn't feel like working all these hours, but he's doing it like he always does. And uh, like I said, I'm losing light, so I wanted to go ahead and close out the vlog before I forget, because I do sometimes, and um, just say goodnight so I can get editing. And then once we get all the stuff home and we get something set up, I will make sure to do an update video so you guys can see what we did, and hopefully we'll have baby snails. Um, super excited. I have lately been feeling a little bored, like I don't have anything. When things get stagnant and I get bored, I start to just get down. So I was 
we tried to find a new place to detect yesterday and that didn't really work out the way we wanted to so I'm actually really excited to be able to try something new with an, a natural fish tank setup. Um, I'm upset that I dropped the eggs but only a couple of them broke and it was just like this pink jelly inside so <sighs> I didn't mean to. But anyway, all right guys, I love you so, so much. Thank you for always being here and I will see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful night or morning or whatever it is, wherever you are. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.